Hi, I'm Ian Moore and I'm going to continue with the discussion about the rule of three by introducing the second of this part, achievement. The rule of three for achievement. As you see, we've divided this pie chart into the three sections. Now this is appropriate for when we are going after something, when we want success in our life, when we want to achieve some goal. Okay? We have to go through this cycle. And this informs us, one, of the focus that we have, and at the same time how we measure it, and when we get there, we know what it is. Okay? A lot of times people say, oh, I want a million dollars, I want to become a football star, I want to do these various things. And they do little to measure whether they're actually going to achieve that. There are lots of obstacles to everything that we want to achieve in life. Okay? And it's, we have to be realistic about overcoming them, or at least acknowledging them, in order that we can move through them, acquire those skills, and move to the level of achievement, goals, satisfaction, that we have already defined. So the first question that is very, very important in all of these cases, and this applies also for people looking for work. I meet so many people in my workshops who say, oh, I want a job, Mr. Moore, I want a job. I said, there is no such thing as a job. There is a service that you can offer, there is a skill that you have that somebody needs. And in exchange for that skill or service or expertise, they will give you money. That's what a job is, okay? So, let us ask ourselves very clearly then, what it is that we're, we want from this. The first question, the most fundamental question that we have to always ask ourselves, if we want to achieve something is, what do we actually want? Most children, when you say, what do you want, Johnny? They say, I want a lollipop, it has to be this type, okay? They know immediately what they want. Unfortunately, as we get older, we are either afraid to ask what we want, or we've asked so many times when we've never received it, so we stop even asking ourselves that. So we just go with the flow of things, okay? And, and then at the end of the day, we say, if somebody actually asks us, well, what do you want? Well, I guess I want to be happy. Oh, I want some money. Well. You have to be very specific about it. What is general, what is happiness, what is money, what is a job, as I mentioned. So we've got to be very specific. I want to be a civil engineer. I want to be a doctor studying internal medicine. I want to be a rock and roll star, okay, playing my songs, okay. I want to be a computer programmer designing my programs, okay. It's got to be specific. The more specific it is, the more your intentions, your drive, your focus will make that manifest, okay? It is not a question of just picking up various things and, and they just materialize. There has to be an intent. There has to be a focus and there has to be a reminding of yourself, to yourself, of what it is that you actually want. So, unless you can make that decision, you're wasting your time and everything else. So, in our cycle of achievement, first thing is, what do I want? You've got to ask yourself that question, what do I want? Do I want to be a civil engineer? Okay, what do I need? What do I need? The next step is, how do I measure that? How do I measure that I'm going to become a civil engineer? Okay, there are exams that I have to take. There is practical experience I need to do. There are a number of years of experience that I need. Okay, am I prepared for that? So if, I, if it's going to be five years, four years for the course, and then another five years of, on, the, on, the, on the job training of some form, so that's nine, ten years, okay, that I'm, that I'm looking at, okay? So I've got to parcel that out. And every year or month or whatever the situation is, I've got to make a goal ahead. I've got to plan it ahead. So the first year I expect to have this understanding, the second this understanding, and I'm moving it along. And there must be an ongoing questioning. Am I doing this right? Is this really what I want? We go out to business and we say, all right, I'm going to have my own business. And in the first year, I'm going to make this amount of money. In the second year, I want to make this amount of money. Well, what happens in the first year, you, you've, uh, you haven't reached that goal. Do you say, well, I just, you know, I guess it's going to work out. Okay. That's when you have a decision. Because if you either have to ask yourself, you planned wrong, in which case you have to reevaluate everything, all right? Or you have to say, no, I planned okay. It's not working for whatever reason, okay? A case in point for myself. I was a civil engineer. I lost my job. 
And then I thought, well, I'll get into the solar energy business, okay? It's, I'm an engineer, I can understand all of that stuff. All right, I signed up, took a course, went through it, got, you know, top marks on it, thought, great, you know, I'm in the future now. I can do, I can use my old skills, transfer them, and, uh, and I'd done some sales work, so I thought, okay, I'll get out there. Start looking for work. No work. So I said, all right, I'm going to give myself two or three months on this, all right? So I said, okay, there's no work. I've always really wanted to work for myself, so I, I do it myself. I go door to door and I make some cards and I build a website and I start telling people about it, okay? I'll offer a weathering services and perhaps by that way I can talk people into explaining, have the opportunity to explain how to, uh, what the importance of solar energy. And I have a lot of contacts in the solar industry business now, so I can put them that way. And that way I can build something. But I said, I'm not going to do this for five years or even a year. I'm going to give myself three months to see if it catches, okay? Because if it doesn't catch and people aren't responding, I've got to reevaluate. It may be a great idea, but again, we have to remind ourselves an idea is only good if somebody wants to actually pay for it. There are a million ideas, you know, it's not ideas that we are suffering from in this world, it's execution. You know, here's an idea world peace. Great. How are we going to execute it? Well, you know, there's all sorts of things. Again, millions of ideas. As you watch this thing, you're probably sitting there thinking, oh, I've got lots of ideas. I'm, an, I'm a great ideas person. It doesn't matter. Execution is what is important. How are you going to make that, that, that idea real? For all of these computer programs that are out there, one in a thousand actually gets the big bucks and all the rest of it. Same with football. You know, one in a thousand of these people makes really big money. Everybody else is just slogging away. So it's not about ideas, it's about having, knowing what you want and knowing how to measure it so that you're actually moving in that direction. Now, this should then tell you at some point, when you give in this measurement, you've given it time, you've given it you know, uh, materials, you've calculated all of that kind of stuff, and then you come to a certain point and you say, is this really working? And this is when you have to come and ask yourself another really tough question. If I'm not getting what I want, if I didn't get the solar energy business that I want, what am I going to do? Sit down and cry and complain that the world is not fair and you know, blame the government because they're not subsidizing it, you know, or blame suppliers because they've been taken over by another country? No, it's my problem. I'm, it's my job. That's what I want to do. I've decided that's what I want to do. But it didn't work. It didn't work. Maybe it was my fault. Maybe it was the Chinese making cheaper products. Maybe it was a local business that they weren't subsidizing anymore. Maybe it was a million and one things. The fact of the matter is I gave myself three months. I tried to get in there. It didn't work. So I have to face myself and face the reality of what I decided in the first place. It didn't work. Then I have to be strong about it and say, I've got to change. I've got to do something else. Okay? I can't just sit here and expect, because I want to be a solar energy person, that everybody's going to bow down and give it to me. No. I've got to change. I've got to look at myself. I'm the only one that can change my fortunes. Not the government, you know, not the business enterprise, not the Republicans, not the Democrats, not the capitalist system, me. Okay? So I've got to look at myself and say, change. I'm then going to be flexible. Then I've got to look more broadly. Maybe I really didn't want to be a solar energy person. Maybe there was something else hidden in my skill set that I wanted to do. Fortunately for me, I think, I discovered teaching. Okay? That is why you're hearing me now. Because I got into a situation where I then used all my skills to study ESL, GED, computers, and all of these things I find I'm a natural affinity for. And more important, People began paying me for it. So it wasn't just a question, oh, well, I'd love to be a rock and roll star, and I sit on the street corner and I'm just playing away and nobody cares. I found something that actually people wanted to give me money for. And that tells me, in this environment, that that works. So, achievement. You've got to be strong to yourself. You've got to be strong with yourself. You've got to ask yourself very clearly, what is it that I want? You've got to ask yourself, secondly, what system have I put in place to measure that I'm getting what I want, okay? And if I don't get what I want, I need to change. I need to be flexible. 
particularly in the environment, the economic environment that we're in to these days. If you're not flexible, you're out, you're dead, okay? You're not owed a job, society is not, in this particular society, this society is not interested in you or me providing us with services. If you have a skill, if you have a service, and you think that people want to pay for it, go and do it. But don't expect people to come and do it for you, okay? So, again, second rule of three, achievement. Know what you want, know how to measure it, and if it doesn't work out, change, be flexible. Okay? So this is a year more. Until next time, be well.